good. Uh -huh. And he has so many options to like play around with the banana peel. Like, obviously your opponent can use banana peel against you, but they can't use banana peel as well as you can. But in the Diddy Ditto, like, your opponent is going to be able to abuse banana peel just as much as of you course. are. Yeah. So, it can get interesting. And like, Diddy with two bananas is oh. Oh. one of the most ridiculous character scenarios in the entire game. It's nightmare fuel, really. Yeah. But, you know, if he has two bananas, you also have an opportunity to get two bananas. You have two bananas, I have two bananas, everybody has bananas. Also, interesting- Whoa! Whoa! The barrel edge card! So clean from Marshall. Nice. There is also no indication as to whose banana is whose. Oh yeah, you're right. But you, like, it keeps track of who spawned what banana. Because until your banana despawns, you can't spawn another one. Right. So if you have your, the opponent's banana in hand, you don't even need to pull another one. You can just keep using it, and then they don't have access to a banana peel at all. Ah, yes, you're right. That is an option. Ooh. Waits and for the air dodge. He's is doing pretty respectably after like such a brutal beginning to the... He dropped the item, that's RNG. Oh, the down air? Oh! oh. Nice double air dodge, and a solid recovery. Uh, he just needs to find a way to steal out the stock, which, in a ditty ditto, not too complicated, but sometimes easier said than done. Yeah, and most of the times it's down tilt into some kill Ooh. option like that. Eventually but yeah. up tilt will work, but with that little rage, not at that percent. Yeah, we are approaching up tilt, but not quite. Ooh, he was too far away and he DI'd correctly, so he wasn't able to get the down tilt up smash. Oh, he gets Ooh. the chase down, but it looks like he wanted an up smash there. Yeah, that's rough. And yeah, it looks like Marshall definitely knows his way around the ditto. <laughs> oh, look at all the bananas! Yeah, if you pull banana while you have a banana in hand, it like launches both of them. But that was a great a, recovery from Hayden. He like winds around. Or something? Okay. Uh. Anyways, Hayden finally found the stock. Yeah, and this is not impossible if he can just. Get him off stage and then keep him trapped at ledge for an indeterminate amount of time. Like, okay, that was too risky of an option. I'll yeah. say, like, going off stage like that, you really just need to ooh. move on. But, yeah. Ooh, yeah, it was the reverse hit, so. He was DIing away, like, yeah. incorrectly. He DIed it correctly for the, the regular hit, but then it reversed and that got yeah. reverse DI. That's rough. But. So, yeah, that wasn't a complete shutout. No, yeah. But it uh, still looked pretty rough. Hayden had a hard time finding that kill on that first stock, but it... He... I think it's best of... Three, it should I'm be best totally of three. Sure. So... Kind of picking the ditto is weird. Okay, final destination. This is a pretty confident pick somebody who's looking to pull what would be considered an upset. Right, yeah. Normally the stage is just raw. I'm gonna outplay you in neutral and we're gonna see who wins. Yeah, it also makes Diddy Kong's punish game even more absurd than it already is. Which I guess the rationale might be like, okay, if I minimize the amount of times I'm going to have to win neutral, then that increases my chances of making an upset. Because I just need to get lucky seven yeah. times instead right. of... 13 and like that means my chances are better it's probability i'm a math major trust me <laughs> no sense. yeah i understand it's you definitely want to reduce the number of interactions you have if you're looking to beat somebody who's quote unquote better than you uh -huh. oh but he went for something deep there i like it uh -huh. he wants something big that's the other thing you kind of do when you know you're like you're down it's right like, oh yeah just go for the crazy stuff and if it works, you're going to be able to pull it. Whoa, he dashed oh, over it! the banana attack. BSD! Uh, yeah. yeah, you can just run over the banana pit, but it's really precise. Okay, we've got Marshall off stage here. Yeah, this is looking... Oh, Hayden keeps going for these deep edge guards. Yeah, I mean, maybe he's just not confident in his ledge trapping, but... Did it Kong, you kind of have to be if you want to win. Not sure why he's going for all these like, risky <laughs> off, off stage Edgards. This banana play is quite the spectacle. Uh huh. This, this matchup can become a mess. 
Oh. Going for the Nair down air. Ooh. Yeah. He yeah. gets what he deserves for Mar going. Marshall was drifting the out. Set immediately. And yeah. Catches the roll. Again. But nothing. I love, I love these guys. They just keep going for down air. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just make them slam, man. These are man. not boring Diddy Kongs. These are insane Diddy Kongs. Yeah, that was yeah. a bit too insane, though. And he's just going to catch that landing with the F-Smash. He, he was going for the Joe Barrels, but... The Joe Barrels didn't work out there, yeah. You can't, can't Joe Barrels the Barrel Master Marshall. You see what he's doing in doubles? He was doing some crazy barrel stuff. Yeah, dude. The, I, I saw what was going on. It was quite... Uh, it was crazy. It's crazy. All right, so it looks like Thor and Sway just finished.